as soon as people come on, they seem, they say they feel calm. They say the, the horses are all very calm and all very quiet and happy and move together, friend, very friendly with each other. And they're friendly to people who come on. And different horses respond to different people. And I don't pick a horse for somebody. A, a horse goes and picks a person. And they sort of get to know that person and start sort of having a conversation, but a silent one. A lady who I met when I was out walking Folly one day, and she was taking her child to a party that was being held down in the local woods. And she came up and she gave Folly a big hug and started to cry. And we had a little chat and I gave her my number. And she's been coming to see the horses and riding occasionally for about the past six months. And her latest work review better than one she's had for ages and she's convinced it's because she comes to see the horses. The lady who was being treated and she came and spent time with the horses and then came back and took Folly out for a ride and she drops in and she loves to spend time with the horses says it makes her calm and feel grounded and living in the moment because that's what the horses do. And the children. The children go away feeling they've achieved something and happy. And it's hard to describe. I suppose it's hard to ask a, a five-year-old who's been really sad, why do you feel so happy now? And I don't know, I, I just know there's a magic there. And the horses don't judge them. The horses are their friend and the horses seem to recognise different energies in people and if you're kind to them they, they couldn't care less what you look like or, or how you come across. Really it's as long as you're kind and you've got really gentle positive energy then they want to be with you. And for certainly for the autistic children being accepted for who they are and being able to ride and I suppose maybe being in con not in control but cooperating with an animal that's so much bigger than they are and they can do it and it, it seems to really calm them down and settle them and they, they go away smiles on their faces We've got 20 acres, mainly laid to pasture, with a lovely set of oak woods with a pond in it, and another pond by the side as well. And we've got badgers, foxes, buzzards. We occasionally see kingfishers going over the pond, and mice, and squirrels. I think that's about it. Plus lots and lots of garden birds. Mm -hmm. Oh, and pheasants. We sometimes get pheasants who come over from the shoot who've survived, and they get fed too. And it, when I tell people of the pasts of the horses, and that they see how the horses are now, that it really helps to show you to live in the moment, and to try and not dwell on things that have happened in the past because the horses seem to manage much better with not doing that sort of thing. Yes, if you've been terribly cruel to something, it'll never forget it. But some of the things that these horses have got over are tremendous. We've got Dilly. She's my riding horse. She's the one who was slashed with the knife. If you can see, if you're on the other side of Dill, you'll see she's got a 15 inch scar down her side where she was sliced open with a stabbing knife. The culprit was never caught. There were various rumours went round. It happened on Anglesey where she was bred. It ruined her show career. And I bought her because I'm as scarred as she is and it doesn't bother me, the fact that 
she's got such a big scar. I still think she's pretty. And she doesn't seem to hold any ill will towards humans, the fact they tried to kill her. And it just goes to show how amazing they are, what wonderful creatures they are. The forgiveness and the living in the moment. Folly the little cob, the rescue gypsy cob. She was rescued as a foal from some very unpleasant children who were pulling her up and down the road with her mouth full of rope. She was too young to be away from her mother. She was bought by a lady who couldn't cope with them, passed her on to about three or four owners in a couple of weeks. She ended up in Marple where she was defleed, deloused, dewormed, shaved from head to toe because she was full of parasites. She lived there for about a year and then she came to me and she's been with me nearly two years and she's now a riding pony as you can see and she is wonderful. She's frightened of nothing, she's as gentle as anything and she understands humans better than they understand themselves. This is Maisie. Maisie came to me about 18 months ago. She originally came through beast and horse sales and ended up being swapped for a bridle. That's how little people value people can put on a horse's life. They took the bridle down and found this pony, skin and bones, shivering in the back of a stable, filthy, full of worms, lice, you name it. So she took her home and Maisie was a companion pony for 10 years for her other horse. But she thought Maisie should do something else. Maisie came to me and now she takes little people out for rides and she entertains little people. But we do have to be a little bit careful because she bites them sometimes. We've got Maddie, little bay mare who's had a horrible life over the years. But now gives you kisses because she likes you again. She's very nervous. She had a very abusive owner and is really very frightened of people. You can see she's not sure about the camera. She'd rather take herself away. But she now will talk to people and she's a smashing riding pony. You just have to be kind to her. And we've got Ebony, who came to retire because she's had enough of being ridden. And she likes to live out all year round. Millie, who came with ulcers and a lot of anxiety. We think the ulcers have healed now and... She's a dressage horse and she came to live here naturally in a herd out all the time because she has stomach ulcers. And looking at her body and the way she is now, I'm pretty sure her ulcers have healed and she's so relaxed living in a herd with other horses. She's very gentle, but she's still quite nervous. And we're hoping she'll be ridden again in the next few weeks. And then we'll see if her ulcers have really gone. But she's blossomed since she's been out with others. This is Wesley. Wesley is an advanced dressage horse. Well, she was before she became very lame. And she was written off by her vets trainers as put her down, 